you have said goodbye to all the people you have formed close bond with you should return to your house to prepare for tomorrow okay guys welcome back with me ciao ciao 2025 after we see the normal ending it, it's not bad the normal ending but you know there's some things it's not clear yet so this time we're going to do the best ending and instead of going back to your house choose no and this time we're going to Juness. yes check the elevator you should have no reason to come here anymore i guess we'll stop by the food court one last time answer yes The useful food court. This is where you have spent so many afternoons going over the keys with everyone. Just sitting here brings back a lot of memories. Huh? What a coincidence! It must be destiny! Destiny. Oh, so you guys came here too! It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo Hello there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. They also came. I'm gonna cry again, damn it. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow, but I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Well... Since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Yay! Good idea. Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! <laughs> <laughs> Will you shut up about your steaks? Your reminiscence with the others. I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun and games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Yeah. Huh. I wonder how it started then. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Didn't that Amino something monsters say? Amino Sagiri. It granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability. So that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Yeah. Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? Then there must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? You're the only exception. You had the power to enter TVs before your persona awakened. 
And the same goes for Adachi and Namatami. You remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were about to leave. A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. The sender is listed as Adachi. Huh? This is from jail? It's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town, before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. There's still more. When I'm here, I think of Dojima-san, Nanako-chan, and you. A lot. Though my time with you didn't seem like much fun before. It's strange. A dodgy well-organized word unfold on a piece of stationary paper. Despite it all, I'm grateful to you. Thank you. But let me just say this. You're a dumbass. Hey. You take the path you choose, and I'll think about what that means to me too. I doubt I'll ever see you again, but stay healthy. Goodbye. The letter ends there. You obtain Adachi's letter. You feel a definite bond between you and Adachi. Max. Hunger, Toru Adachi ranks up. Dawarai, I am Da. Though has as bliss a Chini bond, this Chini bond shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ever to create Magatsu Inazagi, the ultimate form of the Hunger Arcana. Toru Adachi social link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Toru Adachi social link. Your power to create persona of the hunger arcana has reached its maximum. You Narukami has a forge a bone. It cannot be broken. By mastering the hunger social link, you can now fuse Magatsu Izanagi, the tempted of the void. Still though, the thing he wrote can now at you. Who did we learn about the midnight channel from? Hmm, it's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world, the midnight channel, the ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Yeah. Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head! Oh, you're actually pretty clever, Chie. Yeah, you want to be a police? Go for it. Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? The power to answer TVs where everything's about this case started. You learn about the Midnight Channel from Chie a few days after coming to this town when she told you the rumor. But Adachi and Namatame heard about the Midnight Channel from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, you feel as if something happened to you as well upon your arrival here. 
There is something. I can't think of anything. There is something. We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme... Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us, the culprits, and maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Yeah, one last time. Who could give you the initial spark for this power? The one you met immediately after coming to town was... My Uncle Dojima. It was Nanako. Of course, it's not. In any case, you need to see them and confirm the truth. We should have no reason to come back here anymore. If Juness, yes. Okay, talk to Dojima and Nanako. Hmm? Hey, you, did you, you already meet all your friends? I want to talk to you. What's this all of a sudden? You asked Dojima, but the first day you arrived in town. The day you first came to town? Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh. Lots happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? You forgot something. Hey, big bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? Yeah, that place, right. The gas station. I used the bathroom there. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. Gas station? The weird attendant? Yeah, when I first met you, I remember the gas attendant because he was weird. Hmm, now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before you we went home, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah, come to think of it, I, I never saw that guy again. We always see a, saw that guy, you know? Every time it's rain. It wasn't really that the attendant looked weird. But after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. I look sick? I talked to him? I look sick? Mm, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. Are you car sick? You said you were okay, but that attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Well, I didn't know about that. I remember that. But honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? Not really. It's no big deal. It might be important. I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. Yeah, rain is all we need. I understand. Wait for me. I understand. Okay. The first place you stopped when you came to town was the gay station. Maybe something there will joke your memory. I don't know what you're up to. Oh. Can I talk to Nanako? Can I talk to her? 
Damn it, you Dojima. You hocked on like all by yourself. Okay, this is the gay station. No one here, of course, but enter the velvet room. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? I want to thank you again. There's one last thing. Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> wow, that's a lot. Ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power. Allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. What a big crystal. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Then the orb of sight. Hey, I remembered something about myself. I was born a long, long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away? I was... the unconscious wish shared by people's minds. To protect the world of man. Walk the path of man. Fulfill the wish of the world. That was my role. But... people changed. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Yeah. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. So what's happened? The desires of man had no bounds and one day, my other half became its own existence. Much larger than myself. Then what did he become? I was left behind. With no power or memories. I became a tiny fragment, incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so. Kusumi no Okami. Kusumi no Okami? The rest, you already know. Without my powers, I became a tool, manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? Oh, yeah. The cause of it all. The one who created the Midnight Channel and gave you the power to enter the TV. The real Puppet Master, who tried to fill both worlds with fog, using me and the Sagiri. If you don't defeat her, the world will never be truly clear of that fog. Go. Follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. It's right in front of me. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, <coughs> considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous! Marvelous, marvelous. It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end. One beyond our predictive power. Journey. Now go! To the place where everything began. And where's everything's gonna end, right? <coughs> it began raining. 
Okay, you know, when it's raining, we can see someone, right? Say first. 